That's for sure, Shiba Inu has been doing well as we move into the ninth month of 2023. But the way things are going in the market right now, it looks like Shiba Inu is going to put on an even better show. What does this mean for you as a ship owner? Watch the rest of the movie to find out more. Hello and welcome to Wealthy Coin, your daily dose of Shiba. This is the place for you. If you're interested in anything about Shiba. If you want to know about all the latest crypto news and predictions, you should follow these links. Sign up to get more ship stories. Make sure you click like. Shiba got off to a great start last week and saw her pump rise by almost 22%. This is in contrast to her direct competitor Dogecoin, whose price only rose by 5% during the same time period. The good news keeps getting better. So, this Shiba Doge couple is very close to setting a new world record. As of November 2022, the price of the pair was said to be pretty low. But the price is very close to a 100%. Inline reading right now. In particular, the recent rises in Shiba prices have been a very good sign. The fact that its RSI is close to 60 is another sign that SHIB is about to go up. This has made a lot of people wonder if now is a good time to start getting SHIB. To begin, I should probably make it clear that this is not a place where I give advice on how to SHIB. You need to look into this on your own time. But analysts all agree that the SHIB USD pair is good right now. There are 7 technical signs on investing.com, but only 2 of them point to selling right now. 5 of the signals are going in the direction of a buy, which makes the overall signal pretty bullish. The basic moving average and the exponential moving average are 2 more. There were 12 markers, and 10 of them said, buy. The other 2 said, sell. In the end, though, it's clear that a lot of experts think SHIB is a good purchase. Market experts have already made guesses about how much the SHIB price might go up this week. You to start SHIB's value has grown very quickly. It is now the 12th biggest cryptocurrency by market cap, worth up to $8.05 billion. Not long ago, the market value of KIBS was around $5 billion. This shows not only how far SHIB has come in just a few weeks, but also how much room there is for the coin to grow. Also, as I said before, SHIB pumped by an amazing 22% in just one week, which has made experts wonder if we can expect this rise to continue this week. Since SHIB has been so successful, a lot of people have bought tokens. When demand is high, the price of a token usually goes up. There are almost 1.3 million SHIB holders right now, and the group is growing by hundreds of people every day. SHIB is getting bought by new owners because it is doing well, and this is likely to keep happening. But more than just the stock's low price is making more people want to buy SHIB. A larger number of SHIB owners are also making money because its prices are going up. The current price of the SHIB token means that about 45% of buyers are now making money. This number could go up because Bitcoin experts think that the token will gain even more value this week. Still, it looks like something else is going to happen. A professional in the field said that gold would do better in 2023 than crypto stocks and other assets in the overall stock market. Gareth Sadovey is the president and top market strategist of InTheMoneyStocks.com and the expert in question. He is sure that gold will do the best this year. And story on Bitcoin.com News wrote about what Soloway said. Gold is still the valuable metal I think will do the best this year. It is hard to ignore the fact that the Federal Reserve is keeping interest rates the same. Most likely, they will tighten monetary policy even more. However, unless the economy really goes downhill, they will not be trying to cut back. Soloway says that the price of gold will go up because the Federal Reserve is not going to make any big changes to interest rates. But some other experts don't agree. A commodities analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence named Mike McGlone thinks that gold will have a great year. But he thinks that the gains on cryptocurrencies will be much higher than those on gold and every other asset class. 
And this is very different from Soloway's claim that Bitcoin could drop to 9 if the Fed doesn't do anything to stop inflation. $1,000. Tell other people about this video if you thought it was helpful. Helps me get higher rankings on YouTube, which lets me make better movies. When we talked more about Mike McGlone, he said a lot more about how crypto would do in 2023. This year, he thinks cryptocurrencies will do better than standard investments, but he also knows that the industry is going through its first real downturn. He says that the low prices and big changes in prices at the beginning of the year are signs of this slowdown. The price of SHIB has been going up, but other cryptocurrencies have been going down. But it looks like he doesn't think there's a good side to the crypto market crash. From what I can tell, he thinks this could lead to some good things. His tweet was about this. When it comes to cryptocurrencies, a recession usually means lower asset prices and more volatility. There is a chance that the next economic reset will be as important as the slowdown that happened in the US after the financial crisis, though not as bad. He went on to talk about how the global financial disaster of 2002 and the fiscal years of 2008 and 2009 led to the creation of Bitcoin and the digital currency sector as a whole. It wasn't clear from what he said what he thought the next big thing might be because of the current problem, but I'm sure you can already think of a few ideas. So please leave them in the comments for us to enjoy. Whales have been busy adding more sheep to their collection while this conversation has been going on. SHIB Whales spent an amazing $128 million this week alone, which put the cryptocurrency at the top of the list of what Ethereum Whales own. Whales' overall wealth has grown from about $599 million to almost $728 million since the beginning of October. This is because they have collected almost 8.7 trillion lambs. A very interesting pattern has been seen in these buys by Whale Alert. Some experts say that over the weekend, 3.2 trillion SHIB were moved between two wallets that can't be tracked. Based on the size of the move, it looks like it was an inside deal. But you can't find out about it on Whale Alert. Feel free to tell us what you think about this in the comments section. Lastly, whales keep adding to their flocks of sheep, but many Americans can't. A recent study found that half of Americans with incomes above $100,000 are having trouble with their money. Watcher Guru said that a new study from the New York Post found that half of Americans who make more than $100,000 a year are having trouble making ends meet. According to the numbers, rising prices are affecting more than half of American families with incomes above $100,000. Also, the number of American families making six figures a year but still having money problems has gone up by 9%. A six-figure salary was only